Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and here today we're going to be painting watercolour mushrooms. So for this painting I've used some of the uh, reference uh, of my own. Um, I do collect uh, edible mushrooms in the season and these are the pictures on my iPad. So for this uh, watercolour painting we will need uh, watercolour paper, it has to be quite thick to absorb um, quite a lot of water really, uh, watercolour paint, watercolour brushes, then a palette, um, you can use for the palette just a white dish to mix colours, uh, also I use a piece of uh, paper um, where I check the colours that are mixed on my palette before I apply to my uh, piece, um, tissue paper uh, and I like to look at uh, some reference books um, as well to look for colours and how other artists um, paint particular object. So I'm going to be looking at the picture, uh, final ref uh, reference picture I'm going to be using um, with uh, Birch uh, Ballet and uh, just studying its shape, the colours, where it's warm, where it's cold colours and uh, studying all the details because we, we will need all of that. Sketch for the, for the mushrooms and uh, I am uh, doing it um, quite in a freestyle and I like uh, wonky shapes uh, so sometimes I don't like and I don't want to follow uh, the precise um, the precise picture um, so I am quite um, free with my movements how I do it and uh, I'm just building it up with uh, my pencil um, and uh, just building its shape really so I am satisfied with my sketch and uh, let's paint. This is just to show you how I prefer to work. I like to have everything I need on the right hand side, including my palette, uh, my water, my mixing palette and tissue paper and paint. On, so all of that is on sort of on right right hand side, uh, which helps me to decrease uh, chances of accidental drops. So I start with um, choosing what uh, paints I'm going to be using, what colours, and uh, I start pre-mixing colours and I look at the same time at the reference picture and think what colours I would need. And then it's time to choose the right brush for this watercolour painting uh, for the size of it, uh, these mushrooms. I prefer to use quite big brush because it's essential and it's going to be easier for uh, first uh, washes uh, so I need quite a big brush. I'm starting layering uh, first layers using uh, quite diluted um, watercolour and uh, I am not afraid of using different colours and uh, I am not after hyper realism. Um, I do like it when it's looking quite wonky as I said before and um, I am just um, applying um, common sense really and uh, what is shown on the picture you can see on the on your reference picture where's the light where's the shadow and uh, I'm just uh, building it up and uh, trying to see what colors I can see on my reference picture and uh, I am applying them to my picture uh, but they are very diluted so it's the first layer and I am not using bold colours. As you can see here I'm also using quite a lot of the uh, technique which is called lifting a pigment. It's where I'm with a full body of the brush uh, lifting the pigment and uh, sort of wash away the colour um, and with this method I am building up shape, the, uh, adding volume to my picture. I also use with this paper and with this um, watercolour painting I use quite a lot of the technique that's called wet on wet. Uh, I love seeing how 
watercolor blends uh, on different layers and I love adding up more water and do washes and do uh, lifting the pigment at the same time to create its shape and color. So here I am painting stems of mushrooms and uh, I gradually add color and darker tones as I paint. Uh, so it's a really gradual process and in watercolor you should really start with um, very light tones and then you add on more and more color. However, some artists do it in the reverse way and uh, I know that some of the botanical artists, they uh, start with darker tones first and then paint the its way to lighter tones. So it's really not necessary but it's just... Uh, the rule that most people follow but again who likes the rules I also wanted to mention that uh, using particular paper is very important for your technique so um, as you paint more and more and experiment with different types of paper you will find out what techniques uh, work uh, better for you. For example, here I'm using arches called press paper and I'm, I'm in love with this paper and it really works with uh, techniques that I use because like I, I mentioned earlier I use quite a lot of um, wet on wet and then uh, lifting the pigment to create shape and for this uh, for this for this for these techniques you really need a really rough paper that will tolerate rough movements on the paper because you probably wouldn't be able to do it nicely and neatly on um, uh, hot pressed paper because it's quite delicate and uh, I am not a big fan of using um, hot press paper uh, because it doesn't really work with my technique and I don't like how, how it looks um, so I do prefer uh, rough textured uh, cold press paper that can absorb a lot of water that can uh, show a lot of blends and a lot of movements of watercolor on the paper that's what I like <laughs> here I am painting birch bullet, orange bullet and bay bullet three of my favorites uh, edible mushrooms that I pick every year in a season um, I also wanted to mention that this is my first video and I feel like I'm stepping out of my comfort zone really I never really thought that I will be doing YouTube videos um, so I would love to hear any of your thoughts and uh, you know receive any feedback you've got for me to see uh, whether or not you are interested in this type of content and uh, I am very, very open to hear your ideas on what uh, you would like me to paint or what you want to see me teaching. So yeah, just let me know in the comments down below. After I am finished uh, with uh, all the layers and uh, all the shape and volume I've given to my mushrooms I am thinking of uh, adding some extra details and I think this is my favorite part of my work I really do love work on details and uh, I use quite a lot of brush strokes um, so I'm gonna be adding them uh, to my mushrooms to um, give more richness. I don't use only one color for my brush strokes. Again, I am start with very light ones and build up its shape. I even sometimes uh, lay my brush strokes in circles to give and to add more volume to some parts of my objects that I'm drawing. Um, so they are all different. Um, types of brush strokes and uh, they are different thick uh, they have different thickness and boldness i add some roots and make sure that um, you can see all the volume of the mushrooms and uh, it's looking nice and neat and on to the next part 
it's time to sign it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it and I will be making more tutorials and more watercolour paintings uh, in the future so like, subscribe and leave the comments. Maybe you want uh, me to paint something in particular and teach you how to do that. Leave all your comments below and I will be very happy to answer them. Thank you.